What's up? What's up, everybody? It's time for part four in our series of taking a look at the seventh year anniversary Hall of Heroes selections, but only the LD4s, because you already know what the regular element Nat 4s do. You know, it's a very long name for a series. We're going to have to work on that, except that this is the last episode of the series, isn't it? Because we already did the other three, and we're only taking a look at the four. Anyway, that's whatever. It's irrelevant. Today, we're taking a look at Natalie the Light Assassin. She is a single target element neutral DPS unit. She has a defense break, she has a brand, and she has a silence effect. Defense break and brand is good in anywhere you'd want to do damage, and she does damage, which is great. And again, she's element neutral, so she you don't have to worry about like, oh, this unit has element advantage over her or whatever, or element disadvantage. You can take her into a lot of different things. Uh, let's take a look at her skills. We have a skill one defense break. Goes up to a 75% chance. Skill two, not bad, right? Defense break first skill is a fantastic first skill to have. Stuns, defense breaks. Uh, or, or the better uh, first skills, in my opinion. Uh, second skill, this is a brand, 100% uh, brand and silence, 100% chance to activate. You can still get resisted, but it's, it, it goes up to 100% when it's completely maxed. Then we have the skill three, yeah, yeah that's, that's not bad, right? Uh, and big single target damage. Skill three attacks and silences the enemy for, this was buffed actually, it used to be not as good, now it is. <laughs> Used to be not as good, now it's better. Uh, silence the enemy for two turns, not very exciting for a single target silence. If the target dies, all other enemies will receive the silence effect. In addition, decreases the cooldown time of Silent Reaper by one turn per silenced enemy target. So we're going to take this into... I will take it into wherever we can stick it in. <laughs> wherever we can stick it in is where we'll stick it in. Uh, I think we're going to try this out first in uh, Guild Wars, then we're going to do some... Because she's not bad for the Rift Beast. She's got a defense break. She's got a brain. And also the silence is going to be extra debuff for things that do damage based on enemy debuffs. Like, for example, the uh, the Wind Cat, the Crow, the Brandy. I mean, a Crow already does his defense breaks and brands. Brandy doesn't do any brands, but she should do brands. But just extra debuffs, right? Homunculus also uh, does extra damage based on these amount of debuffs. So she just brings three debuffs to the table. It's not bad. Um, but I think really the place for her is Guild Wars. However, we might try her in Arena Offense as well. I'm not sh Let's do it anyway. You know what? We're here. Let's do it anyway. What is it hurting anyone? Anyway, let's let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's see what she does. It's always this defense that we hit, right? It's always this... Or the HP tanky defenses. We don't hit... You know why? We don't hit the, the, the fast aggressive defenses because you need specific units to counter some of those fast aggressive defenses. A lot of times they're passive units, right? That's why we really don't hit some. So uh, that's why we always wind up hitting these HP tanky ones. So let's take it in against this. We have some strips, some attack power buffs, some defense breaks. What are the things that I don't like about her versus her dark... Versus her dark... Si oh, we already have uh, we already have that there. Uh, versus her dark sister is her dark sister has an attack power buff already built in. So we don't actually need like the galley in there. We could use like the Chu and a uh, lure, the water phantom thief. But with this one, we have to use uh, we have to use her. Okay, so we do need this uh, strip and attack age pushback. Very nice. She is going to go in front of the Molog. So let's see if we can kill this. Let's put it on one. Let's see how much damage she does. She's on rage runes. Uh, I was going to put her on swift, but I'm like, man, we want to see her do a little bit more damage. She got like 200% uh, crit damage. So let's see how much damage she does. 59k, and everyone gets silenced. Very nice. So Perna can't do skill two. Let's put this on, uh, you know what, that's, that's nice to have the, uh, Eladriel silence, though. And we can silence him! Oh my god, guys, we can silence him with skill 2 as well! Should we silence him with skill 2? Nah, let's just- Oh, wait, 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 wait! We can do Silent Reaper again! Let's just do Silent Reaper again! And he gets silenced again, that's- That's kinda nice, hold on, hold on. Uh, we'll do this again. She doesn't- And that's the end of this! And it was just that easy. It was just that easy, guys. You guys want to try this again? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's try. Same thing. Hopefully we don't get sniped by the Perna. Perna is clearly more of a threat than I... The, I always realized Perna was a threat. Lulz. Uh, this is why things like Lure with the attack age pushback and the stuns are kind of nice to have there, right? So let's do this. Let's do exactly the same thing. And we get the silence on that. Uh, let's hope that he doesn't go for it. <laughs> and he goes for You know what? I'm, I'm trying to sleep him, though. That's exactly what I was trying to do there. I was trying to sleep him. So let's do... Oh, wow. 
This is a very different situation here. All right, let's do a... We actually only need to do the... Exp actually, no, we, we, we may as well just do the Silent Reaper just for another, uh, another silence, right? She didn't have an attack power buff there, so... That's not bad. Let's do uh, one of these. Oh, we don't get to sleep. Oh! <laughs> and she's dead again! I'm gonna leave all these in. I think that they're funny. Uh, we're, leave all of them in. Uh, you may want to make her a little... Actually, she is really not that tanky at all. I mean, she's not supposed to be tanky, but yeah, you might want to make her a little bit tankier than this, than we have her. So definitely, if you're taking her to Pernas, she doesn't really have that much defense or HP the way... It, it's it's kind of overkill damage. I feel like maybe maybe we would stick uh, maybe we would trade off some of this uh, damage, some of the attack power, because she seems like she's doing fine attack uh, wise. But take off some of the attack power, put some more uh, tankiness on her. That's third time's the charm, guys. Everything seems to be working out okay, aside from the fact that Pern is like, oh, I'm going to kill this thing. We're actually stripping every time too. We just that, that we happened. To Let's do this. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't get him. I mean, we did get him, but we didn't get him. Right? <laughs> well, that also could happen. I guess it's, uh, it's okay that she didn't necessarily, okay. I, so we win this one even more. We, we, we do definitely better here, but we, she didn't even kill that. She didn't kill that. Oh my God. Do not take this team! Do not take this team! We, lo we lost every single match. <laughs> like, <laughs> this has a 0% win rate against this. Not the right team for this situation. I think the lesson that we learned from that is to never, under any circumstances, ever take this team against any Pernas. Ever. I do have really good runes on my Perna, but... That was mine, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but, I also think... <laughs> We should probably never take that against Pernas. Ever. Uh, okay, so let's do strip and push back. The attack gauge, very nice. Almost stunned that uh, Chiwu. Alright, so let's do... I think we'll do... Should we Silent Reaper on... The Paladin or the Monkey? Will we kill the Monkey? You know what? If we can't kill the Monkey, then that's an issue for her. Because she's a uh, single target damage. If she can't single target damage and kill LD4... Uh, squishy DPS unit, if she can't kill a wind monkey with a little bit of- You know, he has a damage mitigation passive, but still. If she can't kill this, that's a problem for- She can't kill it! <laughs> what? What? This is not good! This is not a good- This- Okay. This is not a good spotlight for her. She is not doing good. Maybe we shouldn't build her. <laughs> she, oh, don't take her into any defense, guys! Wow! Wow! Fantastic! I'm leaving all this in. I don't even care. She didn't kill the monkey. She's on rage. She's got good damage. She didn't kill the monkey. Well, I mean, I guess this defense is not terrible then. feel better about my my uh, defense runes then. We are on a roll today, guys. We're gonna continue this. We're gonna see if she can get- can she get one win? We're taking it against a four-star defense at this point. Can she get one win against a four-star- don't- don't look at me like that. You're like, no, she can't. She's not going through Bagel. She- shh, she might. <laughs> she, I don't know. It's a four-star, so we- we might have an advantage here. Okay, strip decrease attack age. Does the werewolf cut in? If the werewolf cuts in, then we're going to have an issue with the crit resist, right? He do Oh, he doesn't even go for it. Okay. He doesn't even go for it. So if we kill... Who, 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 who do we, <clears throat> who do we want to kill? Can we get this uh, Skogel? Let's get the Skogel. He didn't get the crit resist, though. 54k was enough to kill the Skogel, and they get silenced. Okay, that's off to a good start. Let's do... I know he's going to Violet Brock, and he's going to do his thing, right? So let's just start going for that. He did- I, I- I told you he was gonna foul proc. Okay, so we can do a Silent Reaper on her. See guys, all we have to do is hit four star bases! That's the trick. That's the trick. And have them not do skill two or violent proc. 
That's the real trick, guys. Let's go for a Death Verdict, and that's also a Silence as well. Let's go for... This is only a one-turn defense break, so it's going to be off by the time she moves anyway. All right. Let's go for one of these, because you know he's going to... Eh, let's get a... Not really anything. Okay. Yeah, that was the trick, guys. We only have to hit four-star defenses and make sure that they do the wrong skill. That's how we can... That's how we beat it. Guys, that's how that's how we actually make her shot. She does pretty decent damage. 66,000 damage, but... Uh, yeah. Should we try it now against a five-star base again? I feel like this is a great idea. I feel like she's kind of... She got warmed up by Perna hitting her so many times with his fiery flame balls. Fiery flame balls? Whatever. We're going to we're gonna take him into this defense. We're going to see how we do. She's okay with the four-star defense. As long as they're nat fours and not nat fives, she's got it. She's good. Okay, so we didn't strip the Odin. We already know. <laughs> we already know what's going to happen. We already know what's going to happen. Okay, so we're definitely hitting only this unit, right? We didn't get the strips on everything. Let's see. No, no, no. That didn't even kill it. That didn't even kill it. That didn't even kill it. She's on squishy. She's a squishy girl. She's a squishy girl. Yeah, good. Violent proc. There we go. I mean, not everyone. Don't everyone violent proc. We just wanted her to violent <laughs> We just wanted her to violent proc. <laughs> she couldn't even kill. There wasn't even an HP leader skill. They w she didn't... She didn't even kill it. Well, actually, that's a, that's a tanky... Uh, that's a tanky paladin anyway. She can't handle the five-star bases, guys. She cannot handle <laughs> five-star bases at all. Let's try this one again. Let's see if RNG goes a little bit differently in our favor, not in our favor. She's not having a great showing today, I gotta say. Not having the best showing. I feel like the Light Undyne was actually having a better showing than, uh, than what's her face. Okay, so we can kill one of these units. If we kill the Odin, he comes back with like a little bit of HP, not really too much, and then we silence the other units. Because Odin's got a passive. It doesn't really matter too much if he's silenced. If we kill, like, here, here, what I'm saying is if we kill the Vigor, right? Then Odin gets full stacks, and he's going to ignore defense either way. So we probably want to just kill the Odin. Right? And then silence the other units if we... We didn't silence the Vigor. Okay. And she stuns both units. Gr Great, great sh You know what? I think Come To Us nerfed her. I think Come To Us nerfed her luck. Or something. Maybe they didn't nerf her luck. She's just... <laughs> oh my god. She is zero. She, no, no, she's one. She's, she got one. She got one unit. Or she got one battle. She won one battle. Everything else has been a, a living hell for her. Let, you know what? Let's try the Dark One. Let's just, just for fun, just for fun, let's see how the Dark One does against the same defenses. Let's just see how the Dark One does. Now we're going to try something a little different. We're going to try the Dark Assassin. She's not a Hall of Heroes unit. Just indulge me. I just want to show side-by-side -side comparison of the Light and Dark Ones just to see how she compares to the, uh, the, the Light One versus the Dark One. Okay, so she has her own attack power buff. With skill, let's take a look at her actual, uh... Oh, she's missing it! You know, she's missing an artifact, so she's actually a little bit nerfed. I stuck the same... Stuck? I stuck the same runes on her. Same exact runes. Uh, she's missing an artifact here. We'll see what's in the... Let's see, maybe she does worse because she's missing an artifact. Maybe she does better regardless. Doesn't matter. Perna still one-shots her, then I have no complaints. I can't, I can't say anything. Um, so since she has her own attack power buff with skill 2... Right? Uh, increase your attack power and crit... She doesn't really need a crit buff. She's got 90... 99 is not 100. Not 100. Um, so she gets another turn automatically. And then she also endless death. She will uh, give herself another turn to kill something else. She doesn't do a silence. But we'll see. We'll see how she does it. But since we don't have an attack... Which is, since we don't need an attack power buff with her, right? We can use the Water Phantom Thief for some decreased attack gauge uh, and defense breaks. Right? So we're going to try this. And we're going to see. And he also has stuns with skill 1 and skill 2. So, watch out, Perna. <laughs> Perna's like, I'm, I'm watching out, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's do uh, attack power buff. And then let's do, we can kill something. Let's kill, you know, let's kill them all along. Why not? 53k. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do a little fluff damage into the Perna, right? We'll see if we can get a, can we get a stun here on the Perna? No. 
Can we get a oh man now we now we do this now we're definitely gonna get a Can we violent proc? Oh we do get a violent proc. Nice. Okay, please get a stun here. We don't get a stun. Now he goes for cheap. Oh he didn't you printed didn't violent proc anyway. He didn't violent proc anyway. Okay, let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. He's gonna come back anyway, regardless. Maybe I shouldn't have done so much extra damage to the Perna this way we could have tried to stun the first turn. So I think that was actually a mistake on my on my part. Let's do one of these. Let's try to get some stuns on. Oh, you didn't get the stun on the Perna. What? We didn't get the stun on the Perna again. Okay. Can she come back from this? I feel like she can actually come back from this. Let's try it. Let's do Sound Death. Or whatever, whatever it's called. She gets another turn. She kills this. <laughs> we came back from this just fine. Wait a second. We came back from this just fine. We came back from this just fine. And then she cleaned up. She cleaned house. Interesting. You know what? We're still here. We may as well test it out again. If you guys are just looking for the light assassin and you're, uh, and you're tired of hearing or hearing or seeing all of this, then you just skip past it or whatever. I don't know. But uh, let's see. I just want to. It's, it's a science experiment, guys. I think we can still kill this Perna regardless. That's why I like this uh, this light assassin now. Can we get a sleep or no? No sleep. Can we get a stun? We got a stun and a slow, right? So we wouldn't have got that with the uh, with the galleon. Okay. So let's do one of these. Then let's do a one of these. And now we have. Can we do? Another stun on the Perna. We don't get another stun on the Perna. Okay. So Chewie was dead again. <laughs> Chewie was dead again. Can we do one of these? We don't get the... Okay. So now she needs to go crazy. Now she needs to kill lots of things. So does she kill the Perna? Again. She gets another turn. Do some, uh, do some damage to that. Can we stun him? We don't get a stun. Ooh, he's gonna die in a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, or is he? Is he? We snipe this. We get a defense break here. Increase attack bar. Let's decrease this attack bar, though. Let's decrease that. We do one of these. And then we do... So, she's... She's winning every time. Versus the light one that was losing every time. Let's try it against the other team. What, what, whatever other team we were having issues with. Let's try it now against this Odin team that we had problems with before, right? So she's going to kill things. It's, she, well, she, when she kills things, she gets another turn. And then also uh, resets the time of her third skill. And then when uh, we also, also when we kill things, Odin goes Nanners. So he goes for, he, we didn't push him back, but he went for uh, skill three instead of skill two. All right, so let's do one of these. Let's do also... Should we just do Endless Death on him? Or should we do... You know what? We could probably kill something else. Then we can Endless Death on him afterwards. Right? Let's try this. Let's, let's kill this. Then... Then we can Endless Death and kill him. He comes back, but he doesn't have any stacks, so we can't do Ignore Defense. Very nice. So we can do one of those, maybe. I was thinking about doing Skill 2, actually, but... Very nice. Violent proc as well. Alright, let's get uh, one of these. Can we get a slow or a stun? He's violent proccing. Let's do one of these. Let's do... Man. Let's do pushback. Let's do pushback. Is that going to push back enough? No, it doesn't push back enough! He's got a stack, though. He's got a stack, guys. That's not good. He's got a stack. He's not going to have enough stacks to completely ignore defense, but Lure's dead, basically. Lure is dead. Unless we can. Well, it doesn't. I don't. <laughs> Unless we can. Do what? Oh, no. Don't get another turn. Don't get another turn. Okay. It still. You know what? It still did better against this team, too. That's the takeaway from this. It did better against this team. It was messy. Yeah. It was messy. But it still did better against this team. Should we try it again? Let's try it again. Same team. Same offense. Same defense. Let's go again. Same everything. Just adding more to the scientific experiment, right? All right, so we did get some attack age pushback. We get more attack age pushback here, so there's no um, there's no werewolf cutting in. 
Let's go for endless. De let's go again. Endless death on the uh, this guy, and then let's go uh, for skill one on you. And let's see. Oh, he's getting some violent procs here. Should we go for this on this? Because she's gonna do that, and she's gonna do her. Oh, never mind. Oh, she. Oh, oh. <laughs> never mind. She's like, I'm just gonna take a lot of turns. That's what I've decided. I'm just gonna take a lot of turns. So it does, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> this seems like a realistic test, guys. This seems like a realistic Guild War test. Absolutely. Here's my question. Why are Violent Procs not limited in the rest of the game, just like in RTA, to one additional turn? Not all of them. Not as many additional turns as you would have liked. <laughs> just one additional turn. All right. Oh, we got a... We gotta, let's do a stun on her, right? She seems kind of annoying. I mean, she is kind of annoying. You know what's going to happen now. Owen's going to go Nanners. Let's see it. So, one win, one loss. He goes for ignore defense. Can we do one of these? Oh, she doesn't get an additional turn. Okay. Let's go for... Let's go for this. Can we kill? Regardless. Because Odin's not usually super incredibly tanky, right? Uh, okay, so let's go for one of these. We didn't get it! Okay, can we kill with this? We cannot kill with that. Can we go for this, though? Go for one of these, and then go for the kill here. We also did not get it. Let's go. We also did not get it. All right. And then we kill him there, and then we go for... Okay, so this still, this still did better again, right? Different matches played out differently uh, each time. However, this still did better than the light one in multiple scenarios against multiple defenses. At this point, we're basically done with the video. I'm just going to do some arena wings, and that's, that's about it. Right? I'm just going to do my, uh, my daily arena battles. And use my little Shung Pung. Maybe, maybe she's going to be amazing in this team. You think? I still feel like the dark one would be better in this team. Well, actually, we don't even need the dark one. Because, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll do one of these. That kills. And then we get the silence on everything else. And then she's going to, you know, she's going to have it again now. We would have killed this team regardless of whatever we picked. Yeah, we would have killed this team regardless of whatever we picked. Next battle, let's go. We're going to take it into this. I think we're going to probably hit Juno first. Right? Because Juno's probably not going to get attack age reduced. So that's probably what we do, and then we'll silence everything else at that point, unless Juno does not take a defense break. Or if Juno gets a complete attack age reduction. Yeah, she didn't get a complete attack age reduction. So we're going to uh, kill her, and then we silence everything else, so they can't do their... Never mind, we silenced the one unit that was already... Uh... <laughs> that didn't need it. All right, let's do this. And then let's do one of these. Let's get a defense break on this monkey. Glancing hit maybe on the monkey. Oh, stun on the monkey works too. Let's do one of these. And then let's see if we can kill with the skill. Oh, never mind. We can't kill with the skill too. She's getting carried by Shang Pung though. In this situation specifically, I think the fact that she's a single target, one shot burst, big DPS unit or big, big DD unit. Uh, I think that's actually going to be to her advantage here. Unless we somehow do enough damage. We shouldn't do enough damage with Xiong Peng against this, um, this Lich. We shouldn't, right? I feel like, yeah, we definitely shouldn't. Okay. But we, so we still get the silence on here. So let's kill him in one shot. 40. That wasn't that much. Well, maybe he had a whole ton of defense or whatever. Or decreased crit damage received. I'm sure he had that too, right? So we silence some things. We silence three things. Which means that she gets the, um, she gets her, her skill 3 again. She doesn't have an attack buff, but she gets her skill 3 again. So that's nice. See? Skill 3. Let's go for... We're not going to kill this. <laughs> let's, let's go for him because we're not going to kill the Artemil without an attack buff, right? Attack puff? Attack buff. So she should get the skill 3 uh, again pretty quickly then. Let's get a defense... Just kidding on you. Defense, just kidding. Best, uh, best debuff. All right. So let's go for, I guess we'll just keep doing some damage into this Bella, right? And then we'll get the uh, attack power puff. <laughs> attack power puff, girl. 
uh, over here. And then we'll do <laughs> not skill three, not skill three. And then we'll do. Oh, we don't have the uh, we don't have it available yet. All right. Oh, cause we didn't. Oh my god, it's gonna be annoying now, isn't it? No, we still have the uh, the puff on, and we have the skill three. We have the uh, attack power puff, guys. All right, here we go. Silent Reaper. He's got a bunch of... I'm sure they have decreased crit damage on this uh, defense, too. There you guys have it. Natalie, the Light Assassin. She wasn't having the best day, though. She didn't have the greatest spotlight. I tried, and I tried, and I tried. Every time, she got killed by Perna. She got killed by Odin. She got killed by... Well, I mean, when we compare him... Her, him? Her side-by-side -side to uh, the Dark One... The Dark One was just performing better. We could use the Dark One with the Water Phantom Thief, too. He was doing attack age pushback. Uh, he was doing some stuns as well, which the, you know, Galleon doesn't have the attack age pushback, doesn't have the stuns where the, uh, the Luer does. Also, another thing about her, she awakens into accuracy. The Dark One awakens into crit rate and also has a crit rate buff here. So you don't really even need... I took the... I was sharing the same set of runes, basically, between the two of them. So you don't really need a whole ton of extra crit rate on Isabel. You just need 40% between... I mean, you could even use a, a, a blade set, right? You, you f a 40% more crit rate than what she naturally has between a blade set and the crit rate subs or across six runes. That's all you need with the dark one. Whereas the light one, you need a lot more crit rate. So, and then you also need accuracy because if she doesn't land the silence, then that's a, that's a problem, right? So anyway, there you go. Again, she didn't have the greatest day, but we took her side by side in multiple, multiple different instances versus the dark one. And dark one with the lure uh, was performing better, right? So anyway, take that for what it is. Just wanted to show you guys some samples of her being used. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.